and I look terrible and I forgot my hat. What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to take you to a Sunday farmer's market. I will show you around the Jewish Quarter, one of Budapest's coolest neighborhoods. We'll grab some coffee, then we'll get some pastries, then I'll show you some awesome places to eat and drink around the city. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see where we end up grabbing a lunch. And if you want to see more videos like this or you want to follow along with our journey through Europe, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and it's free to you. Let's get into the video. All right, Sunday farmer's market. Let's get into it. So there's the Sunday's farmer's market and they offer a weekend brunch. I think it's a buffet. We're going to check it out. Not a huge brunch guy, but I want to take a look. And this place usually serves as a, a ruin bar, which was the first ruin bar we came to last time. We were here in 2018. Brunch upstairs, or maybe is it here? Uh, upper look at the farmer's market. Oh, okay, so they have this. This is just normal stuff. Okay, let's try to... Okay, quick sneak peek. We're gonna eat, we'll be back. All right, so again, we're gonna come back, but here's some cheese. Gonna look at, they've got some bread products, gonna see if they've got coffee, and then if they do, might eat here, otherwise we'll uh, come back. Oh, let's take a peek inside, so. This is not where I was planning to go, but it looks cool. Let's uh, check it out. So Aran Bakery, or Aran Bakery. Uh, crowded, so we're gonna check the other place, but we'll come back here. All right, we're here at Dorado Cafe. We're gonna head on in. Here's the food menu. Not sure what we're gonna get. Get some coffee and some pastries. Here we go. Here's their other cold summer drinks. And then just the standard drinks that are always here. Here's another look at the food. Food at the bar, and then they've got a bunch of natural ones. We got two cold brews, or what they call, I think, like ice filtered, and these are a thousand each, so it's like two and a half to three dollars. These are cool glasses. Yeah, I like these glasses a lot. They look plastic, they are glass. Maybe better than the last place, similar, but maybe a little better. Man, I look terrible, and I forgot my hat. It's gonna be a weird day. You can tell I did not sleep long enough. This tastes delicious. These glasses are awesome. Read about this place from Eater, which was or is like my favorite food publication. So how we heard about Dorado Cafe. I love the design in here and the artwork. Very Spanish. Uh, and just like very minimal in here. Very cool. I read online that Dorado Cafe had different kinds of croissants, including pistachio one I was excited at, but they didn't have any, so we went somewhere else. All right, we're gonna check out the grumpy food place and see if we can get a pastry here. Here's their all day brunch menu. We'll be back another time. Just need to get back to the farmer's market. And like Dorado, it is laptop free, which is fun and interesting. All right, let's get some carbs. Looks like you're eating bag. Okay, there's some croissant. <laughs> I don't want to touch it because my hands are dirty. Ooh. Mm. 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 That's really good. Better than uh, Butter Brothers? I think so. Yeah. And this was, this was 650, so it's, I can't do math. Like yeah, so it's cheaper than two bucks. Yeah, about two bucks. Yeah, it is quite small. Oh man, we're out of it. Oh no, it's down there. Oh wow. That's super airy. Yeah. This is much better than the other one. I think we paid 50 to 100 more. The butter's great. The lamination's very good. The other one felt kind of fried. This one like condenses and then it's just so airy. This is probably one of the best croissants I've had, period. <laughs> I think. I I wouldn't change anything about this. So, worth it? Uh, Interesting thumbs up. 
100 million percent. Um, we'll be back to do their proper brunch, but their croissant is fantastic. Dorado, super cool vibe. Actually reminds me, one, of Cicatriz, two, of Mexico City in general. And the food menu didn't really do it for me. It, it's just uh, kind of a bunch of like, um, whatever, tartines or, or open face sandwiches. But the, the cold brew was delicious. The best cold brew we've had or compared to Butter Brothers. It might just sound like I'm crapping on Butter Brothers, but I, I like Butter Brothers, I'd go back. And it was cool both at Dorado and Grumpy Cafe or Grumpy whatever it's called. No laptop zone. So a lot of people coming into Dorado and they're like, oh, excuse me, put it away. So these are not places to work. These are places to eat and socialize and drink. We are either gonna stop by one more bakery or we're gonna head back to the farmer's market. Don't touch that dial. So there's like three things here. I'm not sure which is which. We're So this is vinyl and wood. And then this is Aran, which man is still crowded. It's still super crowded. So we will come back and do this another day. So we are heading back to the market. It's right past there where you see the flag. And then this is the kind of street food corridor called Caravan. We have eaten here. It wasn't great, but you can check it out and maybe we'll be back later this trip. Let's head back into the market. Yunji wants everyone to know that we didn't try enough stuff so you can try it. I personally just don't care that much, but I might go back. We're here at the market. It is even more crowded now. Zero clue what is what. I think we're just gonna get some. Not sure if you can taste things or just gotta roll the dice, but uh, let's do it. Yunji's in heaven. Yeah, sorry I didn't film this one guys, but you'll see at home, this tastes uh, delicious. Alright, we bought some stuff, cheese is popping, there's like cold cuts and meat and then the bread situation. Let's uh, see what else there is. Oh, and if you need to get your coffee fix, here you go. So if you come here on another night, you'd get a drink and just kind of hang out because it's farmer's market. It's kind of a different vibe here. We'll try to come back another night to give you the, the different experience. And then, yeah, there are multiple bars. So this is a second one that looks like it's open right now, but there are many more and some upstairs as well. So they've got some beers on tap that start at 1300 up to 1800 for a half liter and they also have liquid cocaine, very popular. So Yunji mostly wanted to come for produce. There's only one guy, so we'll see what we can find. Here's some like salamis and pork and some kind of cured meats, very cool. We're gonna head upstairs, see what else is up here, and give you guys another review of Zimla Cat. And then yet another bar. So there's bars all over this thing. Yunji thinks we sat around here last time. Based on how many people are filming here, by the time you see this video, I'm sure you'll have seen many, many other videos of this place. But typically, I would say people definitely come here at night, or at least we did. Get more bars and different vibes. We got the disco ball. So I got that one in the center. It's delicious. It's mostly fat, but I don't care. It tastes great. One more bar look before we go. Oh, and here's beers on tap. So yeah, it looks like 1300 to 1800 for the half liters. They do have Schneider Vice, so that's what I'd be getting. So Boar's Gastropub has popped up on multiple blogs. So we're right by it at Simplicur from the market. So we're gonna come in and check the prices in my So here's the, oh wow. Okay, music's popping. 
here's a look at the menu. A small is 1200, a large is 1950, or you can just get a soup or a combo with the sandwich here. So this is one place we're considering drinking that connects to a park. I don't really know how to pronounce this. We've also thought about just getting beers and going into the park. I was just telling Yoonji the bar looked vibey, but look at this. This is vibey. It's like a gold uh, and whatever leather couch cushion, but on a building. There's a QR code there. Maybe it's an art installation. And then here's that park. And then we're just going to walk to another outdoor bar. Here's another Belvorosi Disnotoros. This is where we ate yesterday, but this is the closer location to our house. It's also a nice little alley here. Not quite a pedestrian street, but very nice. And then this is Central or like Central Cafe, known for coffee, but also like brunch, uh, afternoon, whatever, high tea with like the sandwich towers. And then Bonnie is another place we stumbled upon walking around here. I think they're like a restaurant bar, but we're going to head down to one of these to grab a beer out here. So we're at Kelta, a pub outside. I was planning to go to the place to the left, but beer's even cheaper here. So you can see the cheapest half liter, $6.90, which is under $2. Not a lot of people here. Here is Ebolia Espresso, where we're gonna go. I guess we can go there another time if we wanna try a different beer. They have a little more craft beer. Um, but here, yeah, there's still like the sour cherry. Yunji's gonna get, I think, the fresh hop. I'm just gonna get the regular dry hair lager. And we're outside. Asahi's kind of a random thing to have. Huh? Cheers, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. My beer tastes like beer. I'm happy. Mm. This is fresh hop. Mm -hmm. You can try to compare it to mine. Yeah, it tastes fresh. <laughs> this is what old, like preserved hop. Oh, yeah, that's not me. I'll drink it. This is. Um, Yoonji thinks her fresh hop tastes like water, and the other one's not for her, so let's see what that means. I mean, it's nice for like a summer day. Yeah, no, this is hoppier for sure. It's a little bitter. <laughs> but then, yeah, mine's lager, just easy going. I like both of them. Yoonji's has a little more hop, that's what she likes, so I'm glad she did that. Hops. And then this is Madal. It's a cafe. I think they probably got some pastries, but we'll come back here and check out the coffee situation and pastries <laughs> next time. Don't know what I'm looking at. Looks like a bar inside. Ice cream here. And then chapel center. Yeah. So this is cheap uh, beer here. Canteen. And then a cool thing. Katona or canteen? I'll have to come back another time. So we're actually approaching Fashion Street where we were yesterday. We were originally going to get Boar's Gastro Bar and get like soup and sandwiches. It was right by Zimpla, Kurt, the uh, Sunday Farmer's Market, but I got lazy. So we're actually going to get something different that you might not expect, but I'm feeling good about it. All right, so not a huge fan of the name, but uh, Oriental Soup House, I'm going to try to get some pho. So I actually tried to scan it home. I don't have the iOS that's uh, modern enough for it. Gonna take a look upstairs. If not, we'll just eat there. Pretty nice up here, but I think you will struggle to get service. And I'm gonna assume the bathrooms are up here. Here's a look at the menu in English. Yunji had to battle someone, so we're sitting outside. To what? Battle someone, and we'll see <laughs> the person that came and talked to us and cleaned the table. Super sweet. Hopefully, she's our waitress, or I can ask her what her favorite is. Then, quick look at the drinks. I ended up ordering what the cat wanted. I just went to the bathroom, and we've got food. Well, I was gonna text you. I was like, "Is everything okay?" And then the food came. Out. I was like, okay. We got the same thing, which we never do, but it's fine. So it's okay. So the sides comes with a little bean sprouts, lime. I don't think that looks like Thai basil. I don't know what herb that is. Uh, some Thai bird's eye chilies, and then that's vinegar or something pickled. And I asked for fish sauce, so we'll see what happens. Maybe this is cilantro. Ask and you shall receive. Every place has fish sauce, come on. 
So Yunji always gives me crap about just like ruining my broth with sriracha and everything. So since she's in the bathroom and I'm not gonna eat without her, I'm going to just try the broth on its own. It's actually pretty good. I'm still gonna soup it up, but I like it. So this is before, after. And yeah, the vinegar pickle, uh, vinegar garlic stuff's good. The fish sauce is bomb. You gotta have it. The only thing that's missing, maybe a little hoisin sauce and some chili oil, but I'm happy with both the portion and the broth. Let's do it. All right. So yeah, I don't know. We were gonna have the soup and sandwich. Then we're at a bar. My head has hurt all day. And when we were at the bar, I saw that this place was only five minutes away. The other one was 12. Well, it just sounded like it was gonna make me feel better. I'm happy to be here. Broth is good. As long as the noodles kind of hold up, I'm gonna be a happy camper. These are noodles, these are the noodles you like, right? They are. It's the wide noodles. She always complains that places don't have. I haven't used chopsticks since <laughs> LA. Noodles are good and the cilantro is good. Usually you'd get like Thai basil, but cilantro is bomb. We're gonna come over here. So this is fish sauce, sriracha, and some of the vinegar with the garlic. The meat's are very good. First time I've had pho in a long time with only one type of meat. Usually it's the pho doc, but yeah, that is a smorgasbord. But the meat is good, cilantro is good, broth is good, noodles are good, hot sauce is good. I'm happy, this is bomb. Give it a thumbs up if you think Tristan should do an Asia trip soon. <laughs> Spoiler, no. but do, do that. Here's Yoonji's, it's a lot cleaner than mine because she's a refined palate. I haven't done, I haven't fixed it up yet. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, how hot is it actually? Temperature-wise, not at all. All right, it's, it's very warm. It's the right. That's good. How's it compared to Pho Tasty? Mm, I think I would prefer Pho Tasty, mm. but I mean, honestly, this is the spot. Does it remind you more of Hanoi or Saigon? Okay. Yeah, Hanoi for me too. I think the noodles are a little bit thick <clears throat> um, from what I remember. Like, I like that they're white noodles, but it's not as thin as mm -hmm. the ones in Vietnam that I keep complaining about. Um, what do you try the meat? Oh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. What did you do? You just I dipped it in my sauce if you want, but you, my custom sauce. Interesting sauce, coming to a YouTube store near you. I mean, it's good. Yeah, I like it. Would you come back? Oh yeah. These are 2,400 foreign. I think that's a little under $8. So this is about what you'd pay back home and it's cheaper than Mexico, which is my benchmark for some reason. We're big fans of pho though. Like in yeah. general, this is our favorite hangover food. Yeah, you food. should probably be eating pho like once a week. Agreed. Probably at least. PSA, eat pho once a week. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna eat. We'll let you know how it is at the end, but uh, we're big fans. This is like seven minutes from our house. I'll probably be back. Mas picante, por fa. I was telling Tristan, the more I bites i take with this i think i prefer this over pho tasty also notice it's a hair up unji because this calls for it you can also see the difference in color and broth <laughs> it's not a competition but it's if it was spicy though like all of the chili peppers that were in here it made it's like a very clean spicy soup and that's very reminiscent of the hanoi hanoi northern food. vietnamese style pho yeah, which is my <clears> preference <throat> versus tristan likes the i like the train the wreck in the bowl yeah and I'm just realizing now, well, besides all the cars, we keep talking about Pho Tasty as if everyone in the world knows it. It is a small Pho place in, what's the little town? Artesia, so like Southern California on the border of like LA and Orange County that we usually go to. If you want to check it out, it's one of my vlogmases with me eating noodles. That's Pho Tasty if you care. If not, but yeah, this is good. We went to Vietnam a few years ago. She preferred the northern Vietnamese pho in Hanoi. I like the dirty stuff in Saigon. This is bomb. Like, this is very good. I'd be happy to get this anywhere. All 
All right, sorry, Mom. <laughs> and Grandma. Cleaning out the bowl. No. It is truly empty. Congratulations, sir. How At do you feel? Four of these. I feel great. <laughs> I feel fantastic. It's been the best I felt in a while. <laughs> like Zagreb, I love walking here. Like the buildings on either side are gorgeous. And then in the background, you see like the old buildings with like the domes. It's fantastic. Well, thanks so much for spending our Sunday with us. We're gonna hit a Lidl to go do a little grocery shopping. If anything else happens, I'll film it, but otherwise we'll see you in a few days with another video. Thanks for hanging out. We've been to Aldi and Spa, now it's time for Lidl.